Hello everyone, I'm Zeenat Firdaus and I have Dr. Sukant Khurana with me. He is a well-known entrepreneur, mentor, public speaker and a scientist. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Zeenat. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Okay. So, so I have one question for you. How important do you think are English reading skills for being more job ready? And how can someone improve this skill? Okay, um, so excellent question. And I think, um, see, uh, I'm glad you specifically asked English reading skills because uh, what is often the case that majority of the world is speaking some other language as their first language. Uh, in my case, it's a mixed thing. Spoken English from childhood, then I spoke more Hindi at school. Earlier, I spoke more English. Um, I spoke Hindi at home. And then again, later, uh, post my college, I've been speaking English. So I'm not entirely sure whether to call English my first language or not. But I not just read more, I think I almost exclusively read in English these days. And when I say these days, it means last 20 years, kind of you can tell my age also by that. So, but uh, when I see a lot of people from different universities, different countries, whether they're from Asia, Africa, South America, uh, often they're technically good. Uh, they struggle in communication and they're bound to be idiosyncrasies in everyone's English and they're also bound to be regional differences. There is no one global accent, there is no one global way of saying things and if a large number of people start saying things, uh, grammatically incorrect things like double negative become um, part of communication, right? You can't really fully control um, the rules of any language. But reading is not just for improving language, but it is for improving language in part. So if English is not somebody's natural, um, it's not somebody's uh, first language, they should definitely read more. But secondly, uh, reading will give you more of an idea of concepts than simply watching videos. Um, the youngsters that we hire um, in various um, companies, we often see that they are more inclined to watching videos on YouTube, but not reading. Uh, reading while taking notes makes you remember more. In fact, the best combination is to see as many videos on a topic, then read as much, read, um, take notes. And uh, the best people in any field, the most successful people read a lot. And uh, my journey has been more of a startup stage as of now in multiple ventures. Uh, so I would actually love to have more reading time. I've started to get good reading time because of excellent people that I'm able to squeeze out time and not uh, slogging day and night out, just managing companies. So I'm kind of thankful for excellent people uh, who make up for good managers. But uh, reading a lot gives you new ideas. And uh, I'll basically say that you know, if you're reading much, you will go very far. Um, and it reflects in one form or another. So reading skills are not just, you know, they should be broken down into some things. One is important, you're reading emails properly, messages properly, um, so that your office work stays well. That's one function Then is in depth on the technical aspect. Uh, reading comprehension is important. It's not just that you're uh, processing things without thinking it through. So when they are able to have sort of full comprehension of something you read, which involves uh, literacy skills, right? Which involves uh, other aspects also um, is important, right? Several elements of fluency are important even in decoding. Now decoding is a skill which, you know, you have to basically understand what the words mean. So fluency is important. Uh, and it's a mix of different factors, right? So then vocabulary matters, how you infer something matters. Uh, and most importantly, what you retain out of reading matters. So these things will fundamentally uh, make a difference to how you approach your work. Uh, 
what we really would like to sort of uh, recommend and what I would like to recommend is that you should set out uh, some time to read every day. Set reading goals, right? And read with, especially if it is your free time reading, read text which has richer vocabulary than you use in your everyday communication. That's going to improve your nuances in communication. Review the texts that you read, right? Uh, so you are looking at the titles, captions, headlines. Understand the structure of what you're reading. Uh, don't mindlessly scroll through things. Uh, in some cases, scrolling makes sense, but more often than not, you need to do. Uh, basically, previewing the text is very important. Uh, helps you determine uh, how much time you're going to allocate to what. Understand the central ideas even by previewing, right even before you jump into something. But then determine the purpose of text, right, which is very important. And apply some in, important reading strategies, right? Uh, so see what you're reading, right? What's the central theme? Uh, identify the text features. So there are some in, important reading strategies. And if it is relevant to you, uh, I would obviously very strongly urge you to take notes, right? Of whatever you read and apply whatever you read by at least writing a summary if you're not uh, putting into practice immediately. Let's say if I read about building a submarine, I may not be able to do it immediately. And uh, I would at least like to write up. It gives you, you know, a huge retention. And you've been involved in writing several books, which we haven't published, right? Doing research. I'm sure when wherever there was writing involved, you have so much better retention of things um, than uh, where you, you didn't write it down, right? So, um, I think it should be obvious. I'll sort of reiterate. Reading is not expensive. It's often free. You can improve your language skills. You can uh, improve your understanding of the domain. Uh, you will improve your spellings matters when you're writing, right? Uh, what you should read should always, there should always be books. There can be newspapers. Uh, I would definitely recommend some online news articles that often I have now these days started to stay clear of politics and uh, focused, uh, I stay focused on science, technology, health, and politics from the perspective of policies and not the petty fights or which individual is in power. Read uh, online blogs on topic that interests you, letters, both personal and commercial. Transcripts might matter, short stories, you know, poetry, proverbs, cartoons and jokes in these days, there are memes. Um, you know, so read as much as you can. Uh, if you are reading, um, you know, at a beginner level, it's new language for you. Read at a slightly lower le level than you understand, but make it a ritual. Read every day, right? At least read something every day. Uh, read what interests you also. So if you're uh, some aspect of work, education that you're involved in doesn't interest you, then read extra. Read on a topic that matters to you. Um, understand what you're reading, right? Find free material. Visualize what you're reading. Think. People think of imagination as being different than knowledge. They are interconnected. To imagine, you still need some information base, right? Um, relate reading to your own life, right? Try to put yourself in an author or journalist uh, shoes, right? But reading should be done with different approaches. You can skim uh, through to get a brief idea. You can scan for specific details, right? Uh, you can even sort of do the KWL, right? Um, and sort of you should know what you want to know. You can skip some sections which you don't understand. Look for the structure which we discussed, headings, subtitles, keywords. Um, if you're uh, short of time, just focusing on timelines, charts, matters. Uh, if you're very new to writing after reading, uh, rewrite in a different tense. It'll help you appreciate when you're communicating the message. Is it going well? Is it not going well? Illustrate, write questions, summarize. Right? Learn affixes in the sense of affixes, prefixes, 
uh, if you're new to English language, um, you, you're learning it to sort of climb up the social uh, job hierarchy, uh, keep a vocabulary journal. In fact, get even a vocabulary partner and um, keep, always keep taking notes, right? And keep getting your reading levels slightly up all the time, right? Don't, don't sort of uh, get into a comfort zone. That will actually improve your uh, thing quite a lot. And obviously, in addition to reading fiction, I would recommend uh, definitely reading some nonfiction because most of your work will be nonfiction unless you're a novelist. And understanding how forceful nonfiction is written, I think is going to be the key uh, for your communication and your communication may be requiring brevity, uh, brevity to the order of two line emails. And sometimes it might be a 500 page massive annual report. Uh, so reading will enable you to be a better writer and there is no escape from writing in a modern job. I hope I've given uh, an appropriate answer though with a long way in the dancer. Absolutely, sir. Thank you for, uh, you know, uh, making it uh, such a good, well-explained answer. And thank you, sir. Thank you. So anyone who is interested uh, for uh, applying at IronCure uh, for free training can apply at volunteer at the rate ironcurerx.com. Thank you.